How is everybody doing? And welcome back to the channel. It is Saturday morning. It's kind of a gloomy day, so I thought I would do something just a little bit different. And if you have not already done so, hit that subscribe button in your lower right hand corner and become part of the family. The other day I was watching, well, I guess not the other day, a while back, I was watching a friend of mine's channel. It's, it's Rocky X TV. And he was challenged to, basically it was a tell your Jeep story. So I thought it was kind of a cool concept and the more and more I thought about it, I would like to do that and bring it into our niche, you know, in, in the diesel world. Um, you know, we're kind of all the same within the fact of showing everybody maybe our everyday lives with vlogs or, you know, showing you guys how to do different things. But I just, I wanted to bring it into our world and see how far it would go. Um, to my knowledge, from what I saw, I have not uh, um, saw this yet, I guess you could say, within, you know, other channels. So I guess I'm going to be the one to start it possibly, if it, unless it's already started, then I don't know. And at the end of this, I'm going to call two people out to tell their story too as far as with you know their diesel truck or what have you so i guess you know starting off you know i really haven't been into trucks my whole life it kind of started with cars um i guess starting from the very beginning i purchased my uh first motorized vehicle when i was probably about 10 years old uh, neighbors down the road was having a garage sale and they had a 1978 I believe 75 uh, it was a little Honda XL 75 dirt bike so that was kind of my introduction to um, the gas world as far as being you know a motorized a toy or something like that uh, up to that point all I had basically was a bicycle and then I obviously had bicycles after that but you know living out in the country I was able to take that little dirt bike and ride it all over the place that kind of started me and progressed me into, you know, a little bit to what I am today and the things I can know how to do. Um, and then from that, you know, it just kind of progressed and got more and more to the point where, you know, my dad gave me an allowance and I saved that allowance um, up until the point where I turned 14 years old and he knew of a friend of his that was selling a 66 Mustang um, and he only wanted $400 for it. The car was in pretty good shape, and that's one of those vehicles that I kind of kicked myself from our selling that I wish I still had today. Because you know, I bought that when I was 14 years old for $400, and you know that '66 Mustang Coupe. It had the 289 V8 in it. Today would be just unreal as far as what it would be worth. But you know, irregardless, you know, I bought that when I was 14. Uh, worked on it, got it running, did brakes and stuff like that with my dad's help at that point in time, and. Uh, was able, I sold it when I turned 16. I really never even drove it. I think the day I got my license, I drove it maybe one or two times, and then somebody offered me a pretty good chunk of money for it. So um, at that point in time, uh, so I, I sold it, and then it kind of just progressed. You know, I, I, like I said, I started out in cars. Um, I had that 66 Mustang, and then from there I went to like, a, I think it was an 82 Buick Regal. And then from there, I went to my first Nova. I think that one was a 78. And from there, I went to my second Nova. And that one was a 74. And I had a couple of, I, and I had one more Nova after that. You know, my wife kind of makes fun of me a little bit. Since the time I was 14 to now, I think I've had upwards of 40 ish different vehicles. So, you know, I've had my fair share of different cars and, and what have you. Uh, you know, I. I really didn't get my first four-wheel drive vehicle actually until I was 18 years old and that was a 78 CJ5 with a 318 in it. Um, it had 40 inch boggers on it I think is what I had on that. Um, it, it, it just and then from there I, I got that in the summer and then when I bought it all it had was a bikini top on it and half doors. So I come to winter, I was like, well, what am I going to do now? So I, I got a tarp put on it, and then I was driving home from, I, I can't even remember how I, I come to know about that it, this truck. It was a, a 78 uh, 3500 Chevy four-wheel drive. It's my, actually my first pickup truck that I owned, and I had it for about a year, two years, something like that, and that was actually my first vehicle that I got a loan on, too. Um, so, you know, I haven't always had trucks. Um, I kind of started in the car world as far as old muscle cars. Now I've progressed into what I have today. 
Um, Dodges started after um, like my first divorce. I got my first Dodge truck and I've only had one divorce. Sorry, I should say it that way. Uh, my wife and I have been married for 17 years and, and happily. So um, anyway, <laughs> kind of going back to where I started at, you know, within the truck world. I've had several different Dodge trucks. I think like four of them, if I remember right, I've had three second gens and one big headlight third gen. Um, you guys that are in the Dodge truck world, you know what I'm talking about with the big headlight third gen. Um, when I buy a vehicle, and I really had, didn't start changing and doing anything on the vehicles until actually my last truck, um, which would be my big headlight third gen before this one. Um, Primarily, my customization started with motorcycles, really. Uh, several years ago, I purchased a 2000 Suzuki Marauder. It was my first motorcycle and uh, first, you know, that I started customizing. And at that point in time, the popular show was uh, Motorcycle Mania with Jesse James. And then um, there was a couple other ones where the, the Tuttles, uh, Orange County Choppers, I think is what it was called. I don't remember what it was on Discovery. So, <clears throat> you know, my customization started there with doing that. And I just, you know, could never afford to have somebody do something for me. So I taught myself on how to do all the things that I did, whether it be uh, some painting or, um, um, you know, I made a different seat for that motorcycle. I kind of took that, <clears throat> you know, metric motorcycle and made a customized bike out of it because at that point in time nobody was doing that so I just thought it was kind of cool to be able to do something like that. I don't think that I have any pictures of that motorcycle that I can scan and put in this video any place um, but my second one I do and I, I, I posted some pictures on Instagram before of, of my next motorcycle and I think I've had it in a couple of videos I'm not certain. But, uh, you know, after that, I sold that. Uh, I've done some jet ski racing. I've done some dirt bike racing. Um, you know, everything, and I did do some customization on the jet skis, too, uh, as far as that goes, just to make them go faster for the race, uh, uh, prince or the race aspect of the jet ski. Um, so, you know, I really, I guess you could say my customizing started out with motorcycles and progressed into, you know, what I have today. Um, everything that I can do today, I'm, I'm self-taught on, you know, whether it be welding or building my hidden hitch. I, I never really draw anything out. Anything and everything that I've always built has always been out of my head or maybe I saw a picture of it or something like that. I did have um, a 95 um, Eddie Bauer. F-150 and I did my own lift on that because there again I couldn't afford to go out and buy a, a lift so I went to my local um, auto store and purchased blocks for the rear and then I just bought uh, I think two inch over four inch over I, I did two inch blocks in the rear and then I bought four inch over shot or uh, front springs and then shocks for the front and then as far as, and that had that twin I, twin I beam front axle in it, so then I had to drop, you know, because once I put the springs in it, then my axles were sitting like that. So then I had to build drops to bring them center sections down like that. So I built all that stuff myself, and all I did is I found a picture of it online, and then just started building that by that picture, and then making separate pieces and going from there, you know, on my truck. Um, so I guess maybe I should have started a YouTube channel a long, long time ago with everything that I had built and done. Um, I'd be a lot further than what I am right now. Uh, you know, that, uh, the channel is growing. It's growing slow, but, you know, I am starting to have a following, and I do appreciate everybody who has subscribed to the channel. Um, you know, but anyway, I just, you know, maybe I should have started this channel a long time ago with everything that I've done prior to, you know, my diesel truck. So... <clears throat> And then from that, I didn't have anything for a while. Uh, I went into my, uh, I bought a Harley, um, bought it brand new. It was a 2012, I think, no, 2008 um, uh, Harley Davidson Nightster. It was the second year for that out. And I always liked that 
short bobber style motorcycle. So I think I have some pictures of that. I'll throw those in here. But as far as the other bike, I don't have any pictures of, of that one. But you know, I did uh, of that of that Suzuki. I did make it a hardtail and lowered it that way. Um, uh, and, and then going back to the Harley now, you know, I changed some things. I changed a lot of stuff on that. I put drag bars on it. Um, I built my own forward controls. I built my own exhaust. Um, I built my own tank riser kit and stuffed all the wiring and stuff like that. It used to have like shrouding on top of your cylinder, your bob covers, and I got rid of all that to clean that up. And then I bundled all the wiring together. And then when I did the tank riser kit, I bundled that wiring together and then ran it down the tunnel of the tank on top of the backbone, you know, to hide all that wiring so it was nice and open inside there. And then, you know, I did just some different wires. Anybody who knows on a Sportster coming from your coil pack, you have a long wire and a short wire. Well, I didn't like that. So what I did is I got wires for a bagger and then they're equal length. So I could run both of them down the backbone then split them off and go to front cylinder, rear cylinder. You know, just little things like that, the ignition. Sportsters run a key, I didn't like that. So I started looking at it and playing around with it and actually found, I bought a bracket for uh, the V-Rod, put a V-Rod ignition in it uh, and then it has the Pepsi or Coke machine style key. So, you know, just little touches, little subtle things like that, you know, I started changing and doing just to make things look different. Um, and, and then on the mirrors, you know, the mirrors usually sit on top of your bars. Well, you know, if you're riding down the road, you got to look past your shoulder a little bit to see. I took my mirrors and flipped them down below. You know, I had never saw it done before. And then a couple of years later, there was a, a you know, the bikes from Harley Davidson I noticed had the, the mirrors on the bottom of the bar. So just little things, you know, I changed that I thought was cool and then I see things done. So, you know, I, anyway, I could go on and on and on about this, but you know, I guess my biggest thing I started and then I started what got me into it, like I said, I had a big headlight third gen and then a show came out called Diesel Brothers. And then I always liked the diesel trucks, just had never really thought about own one at that point. Before that, I always thought about owning a, uh, a Ford uh, Power Stroke because uh, I just, I liked, and it would be pre-99 because I liked that square body style and you could still get it in a crew cab. But after the show Diesel Brothers came out, you know, they were working with the diesel trucks and doing a bunch of different stuff like that. And I thought, you know what, that's kind of cool. Uh, they were working on a Cummins platform and I've always liked the Dodges, so why not stick with my Dodge truck because I've had, this will be my third, second gen. And why not, uh, why not go for that? So I put that truck up for sale. Um, it sold, pretty fast, faster than I had anticipated selling. And my wife and I shared a car for about a week, you know, her charger. So uh, I was looking around on Craigslist and uh, down in Cincinnati is where I purchased this truck out of. You know, he had a whole laundry list of stuff that's been done to the truck and then also that it's only been in Ohio at this point in time for two years. And I knew at that point in time, that was a truck for me. And so I went down there to uh, look at it and it was just probably the cleanest second gen I have ever saw. Um, you know, it has not been in Ohio and had all the salt and corrosion all over it. So uh, I made him an offer uh, for the truck, he accepted it and I brought it home that day. So I'm pretty fortunate to have a second gen um, here in Ohio that looks the way that it does and I'm doing my best to, you know, preserve it and keep it looking that way. So, you know, I've had this truck for a year and shortly after that, I started watching some YouTube channels and there's three of them that I was watching. The first one being What The Duck. Uh, and then, you know, watching some of his videos, I learned he had a brother, which is Paradox. So I subscribed to his channel and started watching his channel. And then shortly after that, I found Greg A. And I subscribed to his channel and, watched, and was watching his channel. Um, and then that got me thinking, it's like, you know what? I might be able to do this. You know, I never really was comfortable in front of a situation like this. And um, so between those three channels, and then my son has like a little vlog where he runs around and stuff like that with his friends. He goes, you know, your dad, you ought to do a YouTube channel. So 
with his help, I did one video that was me walking around and uh, just telling like a little walk around video of my truck. And it just kind of, you know, I was shaky, I was shy, um, and it just kind of blew up a little bit from there. You know, I have over a hundred videos on here now and um, I'm learning more and more every day. Um, I really don't like to read, but I do a little bit to just to learn a little bit more about the truck and um, to learn how to do more things. You know, I hate paying for something that I can do myself. You know, just like with my, I've done the, the clutch. I've done, you know, countless things on the truck just because I hate to pay for something that I can possibly do myself. Um, you know, I'm not planning on going anywhere anytime soon. I'm just seeing and progressing to see how far the channel will grow. Um, and like I said before, I appreciate everybody thus far that has subscribed. Uh, stay tuned because there is more to come. I am working on another channel project also. Uh, it is going to be a diesel, um, but it, it's going to be just something a little bit different. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned to see what I'm going to do with that. Um, and I know I say um a lot too. Uh, just there again. Just, you know, this is just kind of on a whim. I'm just trying to think of different things and make sure I catch everything too that I want to talk about. So, you know, like I said in the beginning, there's two people I want to call out. And one will be Pure Panorama. He, is, he has a channel with a red second gen, just like mine. Uh, I think his is an 01. And he is in New York. And the second one I want to call out is Paradox. Uh, he is in the Alabama, Florida area. Uh, you guys are going to have to tell your story and then call two people out. And we'll just, we're just we going to see how far this will go and uh, see how far up it will go to some of the channels that's bigger than us. Now, Paradox, he's quite a bit bigger than what I am, but I have talked to him a few times on Instagram. So I'm going to reach out to both of you guys and uh, you guys can tell your story and then you know turn it over to two other people so that's four and see how far we can make this thing grow so in the meantime guys uh, rambling on I can go forever talking about this stuff but uh, if you would hit that like button give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already done so and we'll talk to you guys later on bye bye